let's start digging in. Oh, Patagonia, my goodness. Look at this beautiful, beautiful. Oh, how fun. Do you see what that is? Wah! Wah! Yeah! That's good. All right. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Oh, ho, ho. check it out. Come on, baby. Boy, it says pop all over. Pop, 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 pop. And those are some pops. Oh, what's this? Two Diego, one man apocalypse. And it's signed. That's a lot of Funko Pops, right? That is a lot of Funko Pops. Man, oh man. This continues being good, right? Look at it. I just pulled that out and right behind it, check that out. I don't know. It's just a weird thing to drink out of. Still hoping I find some Pokemon cards. Oh, okay. Well, that's not bad. It's baseball cards. Look at that right there. Oh, that sucks. Uh, here's the metal dog that they teased us with in the box. Uh-oh. That's the wedding dress. All right, what's up, Locker Nuts? We're back at this unit, this famous unit that I spent $3,010 at the auction, plus fees. I spent a lot of money to get it. Biggest surprise when I first opened it, or when I first got here, this is my old unit. I've, you probably have watched the other episodes. Um, I'm loving it. I'm almost through it, though. We've got a, that stack in the way in the back, if you can see that. Bunch of boxes. I think over there's couch cushions and garbage bags, but who knows? We got to get back there. But today I'm working on those boxes right there. Let's start digging in. Okay, I've got my GoPro strapped to my chest with the chest harness. Let's get opening. We're going to start with this right here. To start with, look at this thing right here. Yeah, that's an ugly, ugly teddy bear, a toy, whatever. And this is called, I forget what it's called, a, it's an ugly monster. So um, that's what they're known for. They're known for being ugly, and that's really creepy. It looks like teeth. Eh, so anyways, that's something special. Not a lot of money. I think they're like 17 bucks brand new. This is uh, Disney, huh? Look at this. Little kid's jacket. Mickey Mouse. Uh, feels like fake leather. No, that's genuine leather. Genuine leather, huh? Felt like it might be fake leather. Some of the fake leather is pretty convincing, but this is real leather. Oh, look at this. Custom design, genu genuine leather by Robbie Creations. What the heck, man? This kid was spoiled. <laughs> that kid was spoiled. Yeah, there's some more snowboard stuff or skiing stuff. This one's a bib. Overall, it's like a bib, I think they're called. And uh, that's Columbia. That's good, too. Size medium. All right, and here's his... Oh, Patagonia, my goodness. Look at this beautiful, beautiful jacket, snowboard jacket. Patagonia, size extra large. That's, a, I think, a kid's extra large. But, um, wow, beautiful. That's some money right there. I'm glad I opened that garbage bag. <laughs> we usually, you know, it's clothes usually, but not anything impressive. It's just called weatherproof. It's a large, and that's rather nice. I'm going to have to get these to the flea market or a garage sale or something pretty soon because... This is the season to sell that kind of stuff. Ooh, look at this. <gasps> oh, how fun. Do you see what that is? Is that showing up on the camera? That says Gryffindor right there. And that is a Harry Potter robe. And this is not like, this is not like a cheap robe. This is actually pretty nice. It's a little bit higher quality. If you remember, we found this Harry Potter wands early on and uh, sold them already. So, too bad, because that would have been a good bundle with the robe, but sold it. Here's a shirt, $12.99, brand new, Mark Echo. Uh, but yeah, what a fun piece, huh? Extra, extra small. Definitely, that's not fitting me as much as I would like to try. Well, maybe I'll try anyways. <laughs> it's a little tight around the shoulders. <laughs> I'll probably break it if I go... Yeah, it's a little... A little tight. I'm gonna die, but hasn't been that successful. Uh, it's being successful, but not that much. Extra, extra small. Uh, not quite there yet, but uh, pretty cool piece. Wow, guys, check this out. The sun is out, and it's actually starting to warm up a bit. The ground's all wet because I think it was either rain or it was just really moist last night. It's January seventh, and uh, 
Yeah, it's a sunny day in Northern California. <laughs> it's funny, huh? It's actually t-shirt weather right now. I'm loving it. All right, let's see what we got back here. Yeah, getting to this section. Uh, this is where I threw all the pillows and stuff, so now I have to manage around them. Next box. Next box. What we got? More kids' clothes. And that's a giant San Francisco Giants baseball. Um, we got a lot of stuff here. It looks like kids' stuff. Kids' stuff. Or, yeah. no, maybe that. Maybe this is the lady. All about that base. Baseball. Yeah, it's looking more like the lady stuff here. Got some swimsuits and some masks. Panic at the Disco, that's cool. We got some good clothes here. And swimsuits. Swimsuits can sell for decent money in the right season, but this is not it. Alright guys, well we're not going to go through all that because, um, I don't know, it's kind of boring. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of boring, to be honest with you. So, we'll just wrap that up and we'll take that to the uh, flea market and go through there. But there's obviously no wallets or anything, you know, no iPads or anything at the bottom there. No, no envelopes of money. That's what I'm looking for. I like these purple bins. These are pretty nice. Okay, here's something nice. A little Buster Posey jersey. It's a kid size, but still cool. This is a... I mean, guys, this is not big money, but I'm happy about it because it's the difference between getting a dollar for a piece of clothing, maybe, and getting like, uh, you know, like $3, $2. It makes a difference in a, in a day at the flea market. Like, it can make a big difference. Nope. More nice clothes, but nothing super, super exciting. N99 face mask. Boy, back in April, that would have been like a $5 piece right there. A little plushy. But, oh, hideaway pets. Yeah, I thought this was something special. And I think it is. Oh, we got all plushies in here. Oh, boy. That's cool. Is that Minecraft or something? Mo uh, Jinx? Mojang? Hmm. Little massager? Little kisses. Plushies and sheets. Oh, ninjas. Wah! Wah! Yeah! Next box. Ooh, ho, ho, ho! That's good. All right. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Check this out. This is some Nerf guns. Oh, do you see that? That's so awesome. That's so awesome. So each of these barrels has six, and then when you go through your six right there, boom, then you hit this trigger. Next barrel, oh, that's, that is really, really cool. Hmm. Nerf Dominator, Zombie Strike, that's so awesome. Okay, that's just one piece. Look at this, yeah. Which end's the shooter end? That end, huh? Whoa, that thing's got some punch. Okay, there is a, a huge magazine, huge magazine. And I'm wondering if this goes to the gun that we found on the er, much earlier video. MVX-1200. That's another really cool looking piece. How do you cock it? I don't know. Oh, okay. So some of these are nerfs and some of them shoot those little balls. Those ones shoot the balls. Okay. All right. Pokemon. Another one. These big ones. We found one before as well. That's the second one that we found. This is a... I don't know what that was, it just fell out, but this is a faux military bag, not a real military bag. Okay. Yeah, let me check this out. Fuse file, nerf. Whatever that is. Part of a gun or a gun, I don't know. Hmm. 
I don't see a brand on that one. Huh. It's part of a gun? Part of a gun? I don't know. It's another magazine for some sort. And a big old Lego board. I heard these are these are easy to sell. Okay, what we got here? Speed Madden. It's not terribly exciting, but those look like they've been worn maybe once. <laughs> it's kind of crazy with these spikes, though. That just, to me, that, that just looks dangerous. Okay, that's a tent. But what I don't feel is the poles. I think it's missing the tent poles. Unfortunately. Alright, that's the cutting board I was talking about earlier. It's a nice one for sure. But I thought it was actually going to be a little higher end and more expensive. It's not even that sharp. It's probably been used quite a bit to get dull. I don't know. I do use these. Um, coming with an office background, I actually use a lot of cutting board. Uh, I like the handle right there. It's cool. But I think Exacto is like an okay brand, but not like a super high-end brand. That one I'll be selling. Okay, now I know what this is. I was wondering what that was before, and I think it's... Oh, junk -a lanch Look out! This is a... Uh, this is a tarp to go underneath your tent. So, pretty cool. This is good stuff to sell at the flea market. It does sell. Um, but, yeah. Not too exciting. Oh, ho, ho! Check it out. I just moved that thing right here, the tarp, in right there. Funko Pops. This box is Funko Pops. That's way better than a memory topper, <laughs> which I, I said before, I think the memory topper is, I think one of those probably came in this box, but this is way better. Let's see what we got. Come on, baby. Boy, this is pop all over. Pop, 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 pop. And those are some pops. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my. Okay, this is already looking to be the biggest Funko Pop collection I've ever found. Grease. Alright, I think that might be a Fortnite character right there. I don't think that's a... Well, yeah, I guess it is a Funko Pop, but it's a Fortnite character. Mr. Rogers. Shout out to Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Definitely part of my upbringing. Here's a bigger one. Oh, what's this? To Diego, One Man Apocalypse, and it's signed. Huh. That must be but maybe by the artist or something? That's really cool, guys. We found one of these before. I think the Roadhog from Overwatch. I think it's a video game. We found one of those pop heads already. Look at this. The Joker, the Jared Leto version of the Joker. All right, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Dorbs, Rides. This is like a Funko Pop knockoff, but obviously not cheap. Here's Hopper from Stranger Things. Oh, it is Funko. It's just a different line. Uh, maybe because it comes with cars? I've never seen that before. I'm not that, like, super versed in Funko Pops, but... Here's a Fortnite guy. Moonwalker. Nice. Some more Stranger Things. Dustin and Lucas. Oh, that is so cool. These are definitely different. little different design. I'm liking that. Of course, our family loves Stranger Things. All the kids are into it. Eleven. <laughs> Stranger Things Ghostbuster Lucas. Oh, that's awesome. Here's another Sally. We found one already. Grover. Yay. Ghostbuster Dustin. Jack Skellington. We found one of him already, too. Funko Pops. Suicide Squad Boomerang. My goodness, you guys. There's a ton of them. Are we really going to take them all out and look at them all? Yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, this is uh, that same character, and this one's signed. See that? It's got the artist signature to Diego. Nice. Woof. Great art. And another one. That's so cool. Really. All three of those are signed, and it comes in a nice little envelope for mailing. I don't even have to worry about finding something to mail it in. Check, check. All right, that's Billy from Stranger Things. There's Bob from Stranger Things and some scrubs. Loving this. 
Loving this. There's Max from Stranger Things. Hopper. Oh, wow. They got like all the Stranger Things. There's Bendy and the Ink Machine. I don't know what that is. Friday the 13th. Jason Voorhees. Suicide Squad Diablo. Stranger Things 11 with Eggos. Oh my goodness. My girl sold all their pop Funko Pops. They had uh, quite a few and they sold them. Th I have a feeling they might want to get back in on when they see these. They're going to get excited. This is uh, from Gremlins. Greta. Super Troopers. Ramathorn. Oh, guys. That might be a keeper for me. That's one of the funniest movies ever. Not for the kids, guys. Not for the kids. 11. Snowball Dance. Oh, so cute. Mariah Carey, Mary, Mariah Carey, Merry Christmas. Ghostbuster Mike from Stranger Things. Benny from The Sandlot. Man, they got all the good stuff here. Ham from The Sandlot. Bendy and the Ink Machine. I don't know. Again, I don't know that one. Superman Soldier. Batman vs. Superman. There's another Fortnite character. Love Ranger. Jurassic Park. Dennis Nedry. <laughs> Nedry. Fraggle Rock. 35 years red with Dozer. I remember that. Stranger Things. Steve with sunglasses. Stranger Things. Dustin. Oh, that's funny. It's like a digitized version of it. Stranger Things. Brenner. And John Wick 2. And that's it, guys. Oh, man, that's it. <laughs> That's a lot of Funko Pops, right? That is a lot of Funko Pops, man oh man. Oh nice. All these and all these Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Oh, and look at this. Diary of a Minecraft zombie. These are these are really good books right here. I mean as far as kids go, right? As far as kids go, these are decent sellers. This is some good stuff right here. This is easy stuff to sell. I put that on Facebook, I think, and be able to sell it very quickly. Or maybe we'll put this in one of our live auctions. All right, guys. And if you like the stuff that you see me pulling out of these storage lockers and you haven't been to one of our live auctions, well, they're every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific. OK, every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific, swing on by and uh, it's only on our YouTube channel. So uh, swing on by and check it out. It's a lot of fun. And um, you can also pick up some great deals. And if you see something in here that you got to have, well, that's your chance to get it. All right. <laughs> this continues being good, right? Look at it. I just pulled that out. And right behind it, check that out. This, um, you couldn't see this. This is a, th well, the box, Thrustmaster, PlayStation, PS4, and PS3. I assume it probably works with the PS5 as well. But if not, well, my kids, we've got one PS5 in the house that we won in a raffle. Shout out to Storage Legends again for uh, making that happen. Hopefully you guys will see a video on that soon. We have one PS5 and we have a couple PS4s because we have so many kids. And uh, they love them. They're playing it. That will probably go home. I think we have some racing games. I don't know if we're not. We'll, I'll keep it until I find one. But the girls would really, really enjoy that. So what do we got here? Short glasses, wine glasses, coffee mugs. That doesn't sound too terribly interesting. But you never know. All right, there's the tent poles. Found those. That's good. So we'll put that with the tent and that tarp. Now I'll make a nice little sale at the old flea market. Okay. I'm going this box with this one right here. Coffee mugs, Disney cups, and baking dishes. Again, I'll look through it. We'll be looking for those good coffee mugs. But Disney mugs, that sounds a little bit better. We'll be keeping Disney mugs. You know, it's amazing how little garbage I found in this unit. Like, a lot, most units have... A lot of garbage, a lot of trash, and stuff that they couldn't let go, but it's not it's not worth anything like junk mail and bills, you know, old bills. Alright, there's there's a oh, it's actually a pretty nice beer glass there. There's another one. Those are pretty nice. And it's a little bit shorter one, but look at the shape of the bottom here. It's a very thick glass, that much of it's solid glass, so it's weighted on the bottom. Um, but I love the, the shape of that. That's a really cool glass. Oh, it feels really nice in your hand, too. It's like... Okay. All right. I'm geeking out over a glass. Come on. Get with it. Okay, this one. Let's get into this one. Coffee mugs. Didn't really find anything else interesting in the previous one, so... We just skipped ahead. That's nice. through that whole box and it's okay stuff but it's going to go to the thrift store but these three pieces i'll put aside um these three are all disney this one trader sam's 
from the Enchanted Tiki Bar. Ah, that doesn't really look like something you'd want to drink out of, I think. Maybe go this way. I don't know. It's just a weird thing to drink out of. Maybe, maybe it works good. This, how funny is that? Like a shrunken head or something? And that is Trader Sands also. Um, Disney. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but it's like third edition. I don't think they're especially old or anything. This is awesome right here. So what's funny to me about this one, I have this exact mug. And um, my stepdaughter Faith brought that back from Disney for me. And it's like my favorite mug. It's It just has a nice feel to it. It's also large, so you can get a big fat cup of coffee in there. And I love Jack Skellington. So now, ah, uh, bummer. It has a chip, but you know what? I'm going to keep it anyways. Um, hmm, that's too bad though. But uh, on my desk at this very moment, back at the house, I finished my cup of coffee this morning with this cup. It's on my desk at this moment. How funny is that? Now I got two. Okay, move the pads aside a little bit. Nice little crate. Very decorative and neat. I guess that little shabby chic type look. All right, next up right here, we got cutting boards. Waffle maker, fruit stand, purple casserole dish. Let's see. Let's see. And this is our donate box right there. We're just going to keep adding to that. Purple casserole dish. Just like they said. Nice. Brand new stuff right here. $10 though, brand new. Not super high. $15, that's pretty good. Hmm. Cup of joe, cool beans. I like you, latte. Rise and grind. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice piece right there. I think that's really cool. I'm going to have to bring that home and show it to the missus because uh, that, that to me matches our style. And, uh, and it's got to be cleaned up a little bit. Yeah, gross. <laughs> it's got to be cleaned up a little bit, but I could just see like putting fruit on there or something. Very nice. Ooh, that's a nice little waffle maker right there. Oh, nice. Pineapple. Pineapple cutting board, World Market, $17 cutting board. That's pretty nice. Okay, it's a little dark back here, so I don't like working back here, but this is a big box. Oh, wait, what does it say? Pillows. Couch sofa. Ah, dang it. Oh, I don't know. That's, they just look like pillows to me. But they go to that, so we'll keep those here until we sell those sofas because we could dress it up in the photos with those pillows. They don't add too much to the value, but it's good to have. Talking about these big uh, brown, I think they're microfiber. Nah, I don't know what they are, but they're soft. They look like they're in a good condition. Hopefully, you know, the part that's on the bottom isn't all scuffed up from them. Maybe sliding them around in here. We'll find out. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to get a couple hundred bucks for those sofas. Uh, another dirty waffle maker and a toaster. Next box, it says Dolores Books Fridge Stuff. Fridge. Fridge. Refrigerator magnets is what I'm guessing. Yeah. Some souvenir pieces here. Taj Mahal. Nice. <laughs> I don't get these. Refrigerator magnets with the cat's butt sticking out. What? Why would you want the cat's butt sticking out? I don't know. It's pretty funny though. Don't be surprised if those wind up on our fridge, Jenna. <laughs> Bad Girls Throughout History, $20 book. Oh, look at this limited edition strategy guide for Grand Theft Auto 5. That's interesting. It's, it's a nice book. All right, then we got more. Here's some Jane Austen right here. And it looks like more romance books. Giants number one fan, Giants fans. Free beer. World's Most Haunted Places. Justin Timberlake, My Black Grimoire, Grim, Grimoire. I'll have to scan those into Amazon, see if they're worth selling. Jack Skellington bookmark, that's cool. Keep that, put that aside. Oh wow, look at this. That's a huge book. I'm just making sure it's not a secret like safe or something in there. You know, like a fake safe. Just making sure it is not. Okay, this one says Diego's Books, and I just cut it open. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Dollar Battle Game. <laughs> Is that a real dollar bill in there? Nah. 
working. That's pretty funny. Take these dollar bills and uh, fold them up. Oh, and there's practice currency in here. Oh, yes. That could be fun. Practice currency? No, nah, that's not realistic looking. Okay, I see a binder down here, so I want to take a look at that. I'm still hoping I find some Pokemon cards. Oh, okay. Well, that's not bad. It's baseball cards. All right. Yeah. <laughs> that's why you got to look, guys. It says books, kids' books, you know, Diego's books. And it is. There's some baseball cards in here. They don't look to be. I don't see anything too terribly old. This looks like 90s to me, maybe 2000s. Um, yeah. Didn't have any super good stuff. But that's yeah, still a cool find. That'll definitely be making our auctions right there. Okay, we got one more stack done. Let's try to knock this one out. And then we'll be making progress. Oh man. I was just gonna say we're down to the last row. Look at that right there. Oh, that sucks. Those are two bodies for the remote control car. Guys, I just sold that. Uh, I sold that a couple days ago in our live auction. I sold the, the actual car. Oh, well, the shells I know have value. It looks like there's three shells there. Maybe the top one's something else. Well, we'll look at that in a second. We'll look at it in a second. But dang, I sold the, the frame, the chassis for it already. And there's the frames. That's all right. I know all that stuff's interchangeable. It's kind of, been kind of cool to put it all together in one nice package. Mm, wrapped stuff. <laughs> what did this box say? Coffee table items, blue jar, and a metal dog. Well, the metal dog sounds kind of interesting. What's that about? Let's make some room here. That was a, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. So let's start with this right here. Look at this, it's a tiki, little wooden, carved wooden tiki. It's it's really nice. Ah, oh, what's that? Huh, what is that? Is it just a hole in it? Why is there a hole right there? I don't know. I don't know if that's damaged or eh, maybe it rotted out. Ah, that's too bad. Otherwise, it was really nice. It's heavy, good looking piece. Here's a little puzzle, a game rather, you know? It's like, it reminds me of like Survivor, Yeah. Um, all right. Well, anyways, that's cool. Look at this a little clock on a tripod. Nice a little. Oh, that sticks. Oh, that's neat. It's a little hourglass or whatever you call it, but um, metal shavings, I think. And there's a magnet in there, so it's, it actually sticks and sets on um, this little frame. Who cares? This right here, very nice. I'm dibs in these. For some reason, we have a shortage of coasters in our house. Most go to the same place that all the chargers are going the cell phone chargers um can't find dang coasters and i found two sets in here these are nice they're like carved out of uh i don't know marble and looks like a piece of wood right there so they got marble and wood fused together very nice looking pieces that'll match our house very nicely those are coming home what's this looks like just a little decorative thing be yourself no one else is qualified Life is too short not to make the best and the most of everything that comes your way every day. Very nice. So good. Just little motivational sayings. You can switch those out every day. Another nice piece. Uh, here's the metal dog that they teased us with in the box. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it's funny. A uh, little wooden barrel. <laughs> a joy a toast when the baby arrives. So as for a baby uh, shower gift, it's cute. Another clock. All right. Alarm clock this time. Crosley. Okay. And then a plate, Catalina Island, nothing big there. This is a, yeah, a nice looking piece, right? Oh, look at this, tequila. <laughs> it's a beaker, or I don't know what you call that, but mixology bo bottle. That's just funny. These are great things to have at the flea market. And then a uh, dispenser right here. So, York shower glassware. Just kind of neat, put that in there. It looks like it's missing a piece on the inside. A piece would screw on the inside. That I'm sure you can find those. You probably want to upgrade this anyways, it's kind of a... 
lighter weight plastic to make nicer ones uh, because this is a kind of a nice glass mason jar and those are useful definitely at parties so there it is shoe Hmm. Ooh, almost brand new shoe dazzle all right this one says tupperware blender small bread loaf large cupcake pan cheesecake blah 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 <laughs> Yeah, it's Tupperware stuff. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, oh, that's kind of neat. Decorative bakeware. It's a humongous cupcake pan. <laughs> Make a big old cupcake. Maybe I'll bring that home. I don't know. I don't know. Family usually says no. We don't want anything. We don't have a lot of space at home, so I don't take home very much. Wow, look at that glass. Pampered Chef. Oh, that's going home. There's the blender. It's an Osterizer. Okay. Oh, this is another Pyrex. That might actually go home with me too because um, we found one of these early, early on. I love these little containers. The glass containers with the with the plastic or the rubber lid. They're very nice. Very useful. What is this? Celebrate. Okay. Here's a couple more. I can feel them. Oh wow, look at that. That's great. They don't even look like they've been used really. There's three more of these glass Pyrex containers with the lids. I love those. I'm definitely taking those home. Next box. Okay. Really nice brand new blanket. What's this Mac Studio? Oh, it's home goods. Okay. $19.99. Alright, well it's like a nice. Good start. Uh-oh. Uh oh, that's the wedding dress, right? That's gotta be. That's gotta be. It is. Hey boy, that's the wedding dress. All right, that is going back to the owner. I've got like three boxes now. No, four boxes now of stuff going back to the owner, and that's definitely going in there. That's something they're probably gonna want. Pantry. That's what it says. Let's see. Yep. That's what it is. Ooh, there's some nice bowls right there. Stainless steel with the rubber bottoms. Yeah, those are nice. I like those. Those are my bowls of preference. Oh, look at this, guys. Next box. And we've got... Ooh, what do we have here? Okay, we got another plushie. Pop heads, obviously. Oh, uh, Fortnite. Another Fortnite. Here's a Dr. Seuss cat in the hat. Love it. Bright Bomber. Another Fortnite. Fortnites are cool. There's another Fortnite. High Rise Assault Trooper. My girl's going to know exactly what those are. What do we have here? A couple of baseballs. No, those are just for the kid, I think. 316. Braves versus A's. Little League. All right, so those are just like personal things, you know. Little award. Oh, that's nice. Hockey puck. We'll keep that. We'll sell that. This stuff, I think, can go back to the owners. All right, next box. Short glasses and wine glasses. Yeah, that doesn't sound too... Not too sexy. <laughs> yeah, they're nice glasses, though, but... Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I'm not even going to go through that one, guys. So hopefully there's not, a, like, a little lock box at the bottom with, you know, thousands of dollars of money in there. Because it's going to the thrift store. That's where it's going. There's my little thrift store haul right there on the back. I'll just pull up right out the back. Donate. Do my good deed for the day. Oh, do you see that? Funko Pops. <laughs> Funko Rama. This is the. Uh, this has been a really good Funko day. I Funko like it. Ernie from Sesame Street. John Hammond from Jurassic Park. Very nice. Another Stranger Things 11 in the hospital gown. Yeah. Uh oh. Another Super Tubers. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think Jen's going to let me keep this. I do want to, though. Boris the Wolf. Bendy in the Ink Machine. I don't even know what that is. Rick and Morty. I've heard of that. Pickle Rick. Fraggle Rock. Wembley and Cotter Pin. 
Mortal Kombat X. Oh, Raiden. Raiden. Sandy Olsen from Greece. Hey Arnold, it's Helga Patati. Pataki. Owen Grady, another Jurassic Park. Another Stranger Things, Ghostbuster Will. We got the full Ghostbuster gang. Disney Shock. Uh, another Fraggle Rock. There's Oogie Boogie. I love that character because the voice was Danny Elfman. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. The Grinch. Travis Barker from Blink-182. And another Stranger Things, Demi Gorgon. Very nice. Oh, man, you guys. Okay, that was... We still have a good amount back there. That was a pretty good finds with these uh, Funko Pops and the other stuff, too. All right, guys. Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks so much for being here with me going on this adventure. And this locker has been adventure. I had a feeling about this one. I really wanted to pay $2,000 for it, but I wound up paying well over three because, well, I just didn't want to let it go. I, I, I like it. I dug it. The things I saw were right up my alley, at least the types of things that I like to find. And we found so much more, and we still have more to find. Hopefully there's some more good stuff in the back there, and I think there's probably going to be. Um, I started feeling like, well, maybe it's all kitchen and clothes in the back. It's not. It's actually a, quite a mix, and there's still good stuff like these Funko Pops. Huge collection. Biggest collection I ever found. Well, you saw it. All right, so we're going to wrap this up. Don't worry, the next video will be out very, very soon. We're going to keep this adventure going, or we'll start another one in another locker. I've got... I got so many balls in there right now. We got lots of lockers to go through. And I hope you guys continue to come along with me. All right. Hit the thumbs up before you go. And uh, like I said, next one will be out soon. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lock of Nuts.